יש באמת חיה כזאת? זאת לא בדיוק חיה, אלכס. יצור אומלל. יצור שהוא חצי אדם, חצי שור, שנענש על משהו רע שהוא לא עשה. משהו שהאחרים עשו. ומה הם עשו לו? הם הכניסו אותו לתוך מבוך שאין לו מוצא. מין כזה מקום שהוא לא יכול היה למצוא את הדרך החוצה. ושם הוא נשאר לבד כל החיים. אתה רואה, אלכס, הוא פצוע. ויש שם אישה. אישה שמנסה להציל אותו. אם, אם היא תיגע בו, הוא יחיה? אם היא תיגע בו, הוא יחיה, אלכס. הוא יחיה. Perfection itself, <laughs> not me, the music. Well, that is the mystery of Mozart. But his life was less than perfect, right? No. He said his piece, he wrote his requiem. He died at 34, was buried in an unmarked grave. Well, that is not only a mystery, that is a crime. Take it again, please. Consider it done. I'll see you on Wednesday. I think I found my coat. Can you clean it? I don't know yet. How about tonight? Maybe. Good luck. Yeah.
wanted what? The music sent to him. That's upstairs. You would take uh, the phone, push the intercom, Can I help you with something? Yeah, hi. I'm looking for Mozart K488 with Brandl and St. Martin's in the Fields. For some reason, it's been on order for weeks and it just doesn't come in. I do have uh, Jean Bernard uh, Pommier uh -huh. with Perlman. It's quite good. Yeah. Well, I think I would really like to try to find the Brandl one. Sorry, we don't have it. All right, well, thanks anyway. lost my coat. Relax. Take a steam bath tonight. Okay.
Alex. The steam did wonders for you. So whose toes did I step on this time? No one's toes simply rules, Alex. Things went smoothly. That's your complaint? You're too much of a maverick. That's my complaint. Oh, Nami. Listen, Alex. Some people feel that your cover has been compromised. Some people are wrong. I don't know about that. It is safe, Nami. Maybe. I know where Barud is. I know. I've been given complete discretion on this one. I choose the team. I'm available. Oh, you better be, Alex. Because Barudi is just the beginning. He's Masudi's executor. Once he's out, you'll be able to get to Dr. Kessler. You know, he was once shortlisted for the Nobel Prize in Physics. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, he's a very noble guy. He'll sell his soul to the highest bidder. And his soul will lead us directly to Masudi. My work brought me to the town where you live. My work is a series of surmises, assumptions, and risks. I chose this work because I never loved anyone, except you. Although all my life, I've been trying to love. I can offer no explanation other than what I'm about to tell you now. For as long as I can remember, I've been searching for you. I knew that you existed, but I didn't know where. You'll never have an opportunity to ask me questions, but my voice will reach you through my letters, and I know that you'll read them. I've devoted my life to tough and disagreeable work because I needed to love. Therefore, I love the country I serve, her mountains, her valleys, her dust and despair. I acted as I did through lack of choice, I didn't know if I would ever meet you. And now, now that we've met, it's too late. What a baby. There's been a mistake in dates, in places, in everything. I'm quite sure that it was me who was intended to be tormented, not you. Anyway, it's far, far too late. Can you hear me? I love you. I've loved you all my life. Don't be angry. Don't take pity. I never knew happiness until I found you. Mysterious strange. What do you mean? Mysterious is in full of mystery. I don't know. Well, I don't think it's mysterious at all. Check out Jock Boy, 11 o'clock. It's got to be him. That guy. I'm telling you. That guy has been gaga for you forever. There's this girl, she's in my lit class, she knows him. I think he's an economics major. Huh. For a numbers guy, he writes pretty good poetry. That guy writes poetry. <laughs>
Excuse me. I'm GR. Hi. I'm Fia. Yeah, I know. Um, we need to talk. Well, now I actually... Um, no, uh... We could actually... Go out sometime? Actually, how about tonight? At nine o'clock, I'll pick you up. Um, okay, uh... It's okay, I know where you live. You do, right? Yes. Um, okay. I'll see you at 9 o'clock. Okay. Bye. Bye. Place. Yeah, I know you like Spanish poetry and that kind of thing, so... I suspect I'm not alone. Hmm. My father is from Cordoba. I know. I can't believe I'm finally out with you. I'm glad it, it wasn't far, far too late. What does DR stand for? <laughs> um, uh, if I told you, I don't think you'd want to go out with me again. <laughs> I thought we're never supposed to meet anyway. Granville. Granville Rhodes. My parents thought an unusual name might build character. It certainly did. <laughs> Why economics if you have such a gift with words? Excuse me? Come on. <laughs> I know it's you. What's me? The letters. These incredible letters. What about them? Excuse me. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Where's the latest run, please? Great ball with me. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so you really like these letters, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Well, thank you for an amazing night. Thank you. It was great.
Today I give you this book of etchings by Picasso. Listen to the stories that are there for you. Listen close and tell me. Can you hear the beating things inside? Thea, I dreamed about you last night. Did I get any mail today? Uh, no, just newspaper, regular stuff. Why? No, nothing. to do it, not to learn something about you which I didn't already know. Perhaps it was a childish wish to look into this room and find that I was right. You belong to a world that I've lost long ago. You're not my mistake, Thea. In my work, I must never misjudge people's characters, because if I were to make a mistake even once, I might have to pay for it with my life. If I had been wrong about you, I should have been dead a long time ago. We can't meet. We can't be united. I do not fear for myself, dear. I've learned that I'm also dangerous to be near. I'm a man with two hearts and only one will survive when all is said and done. As the Gongora said, un cuerpo con poca sangre, pero con dos corazones. I tell you that I can't accept your lunatic explanation that all your life you've been waiting for me. If you really have, then you are truly insane. But you're not insane. I know it's not true. In which case, what are you? I've been reading your letters for almost a year. At times, I wished you'd never started writing to me. Now I want you never to stop. Are we cutting class today? You <laughs> scared me. Sorry. I'm just tired. What's up? Nothing. Ugh. It's your secret mad letter writer again, isn't it? Are these still coming? Yes. Almost every day now. You know, this guy could be a weirdo. No, he's not like that. How do you know? I just do.
Mr. Barudi. One moment, please. Hello. Come on, get tough on the street, get tough with the gang. Watch your back, it's a hardcore thing in the ghetto. There's no surprise. When a man dies, I know what it cries In the underground, you better look around And use your eyes In the ghetto Let's go, yo. In the ghetto Stay in your zone, you're not alone This wolf eyes watching you leave your home One Do we really go to and so many food. people? Now you're gonna pay your dues really in the ghetto. In the ghetto. Dude, I don't play request. Usually. That band is the perfect touch. You would say that, wouldn't you? No, no, I mean it. May I have these dance? Do you mind? Get us a drink.
Um, what beer do you have? Um, Perfect. Great. Right. <clears throat> Ray Martin, please. That is a truly fine piece of machinery. Thank you. I used to own one. Really? Mm hmm. What do you drive now? A Lamborghini, Countach. But I still keep my GX for the city. <laughs> I would give anything to drive a Lamborghini, Countach. You like cars, huh? Oh, I love cars. Well, your 308 is nothing to sniff at once you get to know it. What do you mean? With a few tricks, your 308 can give you as much performance as you'd ever want. How long have you had it? Actually, I just got it. You know, it was a graduation gift um, from my dad. Have you opened it up yet? <laughs> I'm sure she could be opened up a little bit more. You're right. There's a way to completely open her up quickly, and it only works on that Ferrari. Really? Really. What do you do, Gia? Well, like I said, I'm just about to graduate. What's your major? Economics. Sounds serious. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, I am. How about you, George? What do you do? I'm a financial planner. So you like, like you plan people's futures, right? Yes. You may say so. Cool, cool. Cool. A car like this must get you plenty of attention from the ladies. Am I right? Uh, I don't know, you know. I'm, I'm seeing someone, so I hadn't really noticed. You're a lucky guy. Well, it is. She's amazing. I hope to marry her someday. Young men like you, ready to sit down? But yeah, she's incredible. I, uh, you know, I don't want to blow it. <laughs> yeah, you might want to slow down here a little bit. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, I bring it down here, but... But uh, I have to leave you by the next phone. I'll find my way back, don't worry. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. It's all in there. You can get the same out of her. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Do me a favor, stay on the highway. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Hey, uh. Thank you. I uh, hope to see you again. Have sure. a drink sometime.
I shouldn't be having this meeting. I shouldn't have agreed. We're losing time and I have no time. You have as much time as we give you. Things are right on course. I want to meet Kessler now. It's time to close in on Masudi. Set it up. We may be old friends, but I think you forget yourself. I want to finish with it now. That kind of talk worries me, Alex. We have to wait. I've waited long enough. Now it's time. It's what we do for a living. We wait. It's what our damn business is about. You don't go after them, you let them come to you. It's different now, understand? Will you set it up? Please? All right, but we involve nobody else. I'll back you up myself. Thanks. Darling, look what just arrived. Aren't they beautiful? Thea? I'm gonna make some lunch now. And don't forget, you promised you'd take a walk with me this afternoon. The fresh air is gonna do us both a lot of good. I have no right to bother you with words now. And I certainly have no right to set you any unnecessary riddles. I know that you have words that you need to say. So that's what I suggest. Put your letters to me in an envelope marked Mr. Franz Kafka Post Restaurant and send it to your local post office. I'll be there to collect your letters.
I know you're here. Do you like watching me, Mr. Kafka? What for? You're a coward! You're dead! You're nothing! You're dead! You're dead! You're dead! Where are you now? You can't remain silent forever. You can't hide anymore. I don't know if you had a hand in GR's death, but I must leave. Run away from you, from your letters, and from everything that's so miserable between us. I'm not as wonderful as you make me out to be. Look how you dominate me. So many times I was amusing myself with the thought that you might be around. Very close. Now I'm doubting if you really do exist. Are you safe there in the shadow? It's okay. Stay in hiding. It's easier. You're afraid because of me, right? Because you don't want me to get hurt. Well, I don't mind getting hurt. I don't mind being touched. Come on. Come on. Step out. I'm here. Mr. Milan. You took care for the money, Mr. Milan. We've opened a confidential account at Swiss Central Bank in your name. I must have absolute assurance. That is the account number. It could be a false account. Call them now to assure yourself. The bank's number is Four seven three six four zero nine. Please. Phone, please. Thank you. Please. Customer service, please. Private accounts. Yes, my account number is 9661992. I would like to know the status of my account. Yes, yes, Rudy Kessler. Yes. Thank you. I'm impressed. And now, Dr. Kessler, the goods. These are the last photographs of him. He has changed. Where is he now? Claridge Hotel, New York. And now, Mr. Milan, let's drink to progress. You continue to lead the good life. And I as well. May we all receive what we so richly deserve. Cheers. Dr. Kessler. Mr. Ivan. Please.
Objective, hold on. Hold on, Alex. Hold on, kid. We're almost there. Expecting anybody? Apparently oh. not. Oh, come in. You, you want anything to drink? Oh, we're getting drunk. That's enough. That's enough. So. Have you even left the apartment since you got here? I go to class. That doesn't count. Yes, it does. <laughs> you didn't get any more of those letters, did you? No. Have you met anybody nice here? Um, no, I've been really busy. No, you've been keeping yourself busy. There's a difference. I'm not against going out with someone. It just hasn't happened yet. See, you have to make something happen. You know that. Look, this is what you're going to do, okay? You can go out, you're going to find a boy. <laughs> then you're going to ask him on a date for this Friday night. Well, Friday I have a guest lecture in the morning. Then I have to go to class. Then I have stacks of work because um, I have a paper due on Monday. I'm fine. I I'm, I'm fine. Good morning. It is a beautiful, clear July day in Granada, the year 1936. The phalangists occupy the city, but the mood is mild. It is on that day that Federico Garcia Lorca, poet, playwright, artist, is executed, and his body is thrown into an unmarked grave. He was 38. There are those who look upon the death of Lorca as a much greater symbol of the conflict of that region in general. Not the political conflict, but the deeper chasm towards utter brutality that lies in man. De Gongora wrote, Un cuerpo con poca sangre, pero con dos corazones. One body with little blood, but with two hearts. Is that to say that there is not enough blood in the body to keep two hearts alive. Or that two hearts can turn thin veins into a nurturing river. We have to keep an eye on those opposing hearts because. Yes, come in. Dr. Trianda? Yes, sit down. I'll be right with you. My heart is in the east. I am at the edge of the west. Then how can I taste what I eat? How can I enjoy it? You're familiar with Halibi? Yes. Good. 
So, you're here in response to my plea for an assistant. Uh, sure. I'd be delighted. Wonderful. Chicago lecture on Wednesday. I checked all the references, but I wasn't sure about the Mallorca quote you wanted. Yeah, for the opening. Yeah, you marked a few, so. We're all done. I don't think that I should keep you waiting anymore. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. We'll ever get. Anything else is just impossible. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Alexander Abramov, Teur Ofi, Itnagut Vergelim, Le Sikum, 
מומלץ לתפקידים מסווגים מכל מין, צירוף מוצלח של אופי שלא יבגוד ורכוש שלא יגרום לו להתפתות למעילה. אין שום הסתייגות. אני לא יודע למה אני כל כך מזלזל בפסיכולוגים. הפעם האידיוטים האלה צדקו במאה אחוז. רק בדבר אחד הם לא הבחינו, בעצבות שלו, בנכונות שלו לוותר על החיים, בפלירט שלו עם המוות. מתי ראית אותו בפעם האחרונה? לפני כמה ימים. כמה ימים? יומיים? שלושה, יום, כמה? למה? קרה משהו? הוא חיסל את כל חשבונות הבנק שלו. עזב את הארץ הבוקר עם הדרכון האישי שלו. ואתה לא יודע על זה כלום? הוא עובר תקופה לא קלה. הוא קצת עייף, זה הכול. אנחנו כולנו מתעייפים לפעמים. אתה מכיר את אלכס. הוא גאון בלשמור דברים לעצמו. הפעם הוא שמר את הדברים מהאנשים הלא נכונים. הוא חצה את הקווים. התוצאות תהיינה חמורות מאוד. לכולנו. הוא נחשף. כל המערכת בכוננות. אני אדאג להביא אותו ארצה. בכל מחיר. זה ברור? I want you to come with me to New York. I want you to meet my mom, my friends. I want you to know everything. You're sure that's what you want? Yes. You're sure? Yeah. Because you shouldn't stay with me if you think I'm half a man. We deserve better. You deserve better. I want you. I want to get on with my life. Uh, Nikos? 
Oh, this is um, Mom. How do you do, Nico? It's very nice to meet you. Oh, it's good to meet you. Well, I'm glad you two found each other. She really needs somebody, oh. Mom, <laughs> uh, should we show Nico to his room? Oh, yes. Uh, put some warm blankets out in the hall if you need them. And uh, there's some clean towels in the bathroom. And your mail's up on your desk. Right. Oh, Nico, you're teaching Spanish literature, correct? Yes. <laughs> This is my last letter to you. I know that we shall meet, and the hour is not far away. You've never sinned against me, not once. My terrible and wonderful angel, it is I, alone, who have brought about this abominable state of affairs in which we find ourselves. I was hesitant, tried to have it my way, a coward. A miserable and despicable coward. Someone who was privileged to know of your existence before he met you. Should have been with you all the days of his life. With you alone. But I rested on the way. I stopped off. I left signs. I left everything behind here. We're so close now. No fear, no regret, just free fall. Look ahead, look at me. have come to 